What's up guys? We're back again with another video and I want to thank you guys for all the support and help lately with the channel. But today I want to talk about gear. So lately I've been looking at gear and uh, what I should go into more of high end high performance gear that's a little more costly but it's also great and investment for someone who's an avid hunter or someone who is going to continue in hunting. So over the last couple weeks, last month really, I've been looking at different types of gear that I wanted and basically also looking at the companies. What I chose to go with was QU gear. So QU is an ultralight hunting performance gear that is based out of California and with me being from the West Coast, I wanted to support someone from the West Coast. Also their patterns work very well with what I hunting and also with where I could be hunting. We got this a few days earlier than the rest of the stuff, so I wanted to try it on, see how it fits, also how the material is. So this is their Rubicon hooded jacket. It has a polyester torre fabric and a nice fleece lining inside. It's a great jacket, has multiple pockets. You've got one right here. It's a mesh pocket on the inside. All the pockets are mesh. There is more pockets. On each side, there's two. It's actually hidden into the side of the zippers or seams of the jacket, as you can see. So this is my thick uh, jacket, more of a uh, rain and for the cold. So let's get into the rest of the gear. Uh, so I ordered two pants. So we have the Sierra pants and the attack pants. Then I also got a shirt the Enduro SS Crew, and I got a thin hoodie, one of the Ultra Merino, uh, I think it's the, the 145 Zip T hoodie. So it comes in a nice little box. So this is the hoodie I got. I have the Ultra Merino 145 Zip T hoodie. It is 9.2 ounces or 260 grams. And then we have the Enduro SS Crew. So this is a t-shirt. It is five ounces, five and a half ounces. So nice little shirt, lightweight. Fabric feels good. Um, a lot of their fabric wicks moisture very well and deals well with moisture and heat reduction and also it's breathable. So that's that for the upper part, upper body. So I could wear the shirt, the hoodie for mid-season, early season stuff, and then later on throw on the hooded jacket for when it gets colder out. On to the next two things we have is the pants. So I went with the Sierra pants and the attack pants. So first off we have the Sierra. They're built for earlier season stuff. It is 16 ounces, 100% polyester, uh, two-way stretch. This is meant for everyday wear and also for uh, early hunting seasons. Uh, I think you could also wear this kind of later if you have, or mid-season if you have uh, some undergarments like thermals. There's two pockets in the front, normal pocket at the hip. You have one zip pocket on the right side and another zip pocket on the left side. Pocket space is pretty big, I can fit my whole hand in there. So that's nice to know. Uh, keep other necessities on you. There's two pockets on the back, just your typical pockets on the back of any pants. 
Um, this would be nice for early season stuff. And then the attack pants. So the attack pants are 18 and a half ounces. It is has a four-way stretch. This is a little thicker than the Sierra pants, so this would help for late season. I could wear this over um, undergarments or maybe even over some long johns. So I think I'll be warm enough in these. I've tried on the attack pants before and they fit very well on me. Uh, the sizing, I got the 36 and I'm normally a 34 to 36. Um, just depends on the brand, but the 36 is fit very well. The length fits well also for me. They will be coming out with extra long or 36 longs or 36 shorts for uh, people that need that. You have two front pockets as usual, two pockets on the back. This time it has a little flap and zippers. And then you also have the normal pockets on the front. But the great thing about these pants are on the sides, they're hip vents. So if you're overheating, getting a little too hot while hiking or moving around, you can unzip your sides and just let release some heat off. So that is a nice feature for pants. So that is the gear that I've got currently from Q. I would like to get some more, maybe later get a bigger jacket, but more of a late season jacket. And also um, I'd like to get some gloves. I think that would be very essential to uh, finish the kit off and also help with keeping me warm later in the seasons. So I went with the Verde camo. It's the Verde 2.0. Um, it's more of a green tan with gray and black into it. So this works well with more of woodland tree and grassy areas. The other one is the Vias, which is, it also, it still has tan in it, but it's a lighter tan, I think, with brown, gray, and black. So that's made more for mountain areas and after the frost in the Yukon and up north. All right, guys, so this is the attack pants with the enduro shirt, as you can see. Got the hip vents. Deep pockets with flaps over them to help with rain. So then I can throw over the Reno zip tee hoodie. This can be a little colder early season, maybe mid season, depending on how cold it is. Looks well. And then for later in the season, heavy rain, cold, I can throw on the Rubicon hoodie jacket. All right guys, so we're now in the backyard. It actually is drizzling a little bit, but we're gonna do a water test. Uh, so I got the hose on, so let's do it. I think that's a go for QU. We'll see you soon.
Alright guys, here we go. Here's the ultimate test. Sure it's a little wet, but I think that was a little past the jacket. Inside's all good. The fleece is still dry. Outside just back to being dry. These pants are good. Don't really feel wet on my legs. So that's a great sign. Let's see if the phone is wet. Nope. Phone is dry. Alright guys. So that is my gear, uh, what I ordered from QU as a starter, starter for me. And I think this stuff is going to be very comfortable and very helpful with me staying hidden. Uh, can't wait to wear it all. QU makes some great products uh, just by watching videos on their YouTube channel. They take pride in what they do. So yes, they're not made in America, but they use some of the best people to make their products over in Japan. So the companies they work with, they actually go over and meet them. They talk to who the companies are, who the people are within it, and they tour the factories. And one thing that stuck out to me was they really cared about how clean the factories were because if that means it's clean, that means they take pride in the products that they're putting out. And so QU takes a lot of pride in the products they're getting out. Um, if you have a problem, send it, you can send it back to them. If there's problems with sizing, you can send it back to them. Most of it fits true, I would say, with jackets. Go a size up. Um, and a lot of their stuff is more fitted performance wear, so you could go a size up in things. But if you look on their website, they actually have reviews. A lot of people do reviews, and you can tell what fits well on people, what doesn't. Also, if you need help, you can hit me up, leave a comment asking. Um, all my stuff was extra larges, so my shirts, my, my shirt, my hoodie, and my jacket were all extra large. I wear a extra large large, depending on the brand. And I decided to go with the extra large with QU, and it's all fit well. Um, I've worn the shirts before, and I've tried it the XLs, the extra largest before, and it was very comfortable and fitting. So if you guys need any help, leave a comment, shoot me an email, or DM me on Instagram or on Twitter. But thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys had a great time, and I appreciate everyone's help and all your support lately with the channel. It really does help me. It helps me to create more content for you guys. So thank you. I appreciate you guys. Stay safe out there.